everyone. Enjoying the not so bright eyed and bushy town. So we're in the adventure bus and uh, we drove up country late last night and it was a cold one. It got down to minus four at some point. So we came prepared. You can see we've got our sleeping bags. We brought our duvet with us and we can't actually believe, and I say we because Liga's snuggled up under the duvet there, how warm it was in the adventure bus. At one point, I got too hot and had to take my hood down, but we've come up to Dorking and that can mean only one thing. So we've come up for the brilliant Hurtwood 50K put on by friends of the channel, Freedom Racing. But I think I've got a few more minutes to snooze and then we'll get ready for the race. We'll see you in a minute. Folks, thanks for joining us for another video. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure and welcome back to episode two in our Arc of Attrition series. So yeah, we've come up to Dorking in the adventure bus to run the Hurtwood 50K. I'm using it as a bit of a sort of training run. So uh, I actually ran yesterday, so it's gonna be a, a bit of a back-to-back -back weekend. Uh, it's warming up a little bit, which is good. Got uh, registered, got our numbers on, got a timing chip, super important. And I've pre-loaded with a high concentrate of electrolyte from Precision Fuel and High hydration that was something we picked up on when i did the sweat test out in chamonix we've got 20 minutes to go until the gun goes off so i think we better get over there get lined up on that start line ready to go Okay, so that is the start of Hurtwood 50k. Most of it's been uphill so far. What's going on? Slight change to the start there. Coming out of town, but we are heading out to the trails. Should be a good day. It's a bit of a lumpy course. Out and back. Beautiful views along the way. It's going to be good to get back out on the trails. Shake the legs off. Nice easy start after a long drive up and uh, we'll see what we can do on the way back. It's just a training run, not races. It's going to be good to get out on the route, have a chat to people, see if we can find any other runners that are running the Arc of Attrition next year we can have a chat. Oh she is, there you go. What's your name? Charlotte, hi. Okay Charlotte. So how are you feeling about it? Pretty good. Yeah, good. Um, You're not running before? Uh, no, I was meant to do it last year and I got injured. So. Okay. Yeah, first time. Awesome. Yeah. You'll love it. It's, uh, yeah. it's an incredible weekend. Yeah, can't wait. And this is a great training run. Well, there you go. We're not even a mile in <laughs> and we met someone already. And uh, have you been able to get out on the course at all? Um, we used to live in Cornwall, so Oh, yeah. okay, brilliant. Most of the route, so, so you know, not wow. too much of a surprise, but That's good. I guess putting it all together, yeah. who knows how that goes. Yeah, but just knowing the route makes a massive yeah. difference. No I always think of people who come down to Cornwall who've never been there. Yeah. And their first experience it's is the Arcadrice. Right. Yeah. It must be a bit of an eye opener. Totally. Oh, well, I hope it goes well. Yeah, thank you, you too. Yeah, have a good run today. Yeah, and absolutely. You can. Nice and easy. Yeah, no. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, cool stuff. Hello, Lloyd. Right, mate, you're right. <laughs> How are you doing? the channel. Yeah, you're, you're, you're the reason I'm doing it. Awesome, what's your name? Saw, uh, Andrew, then, Nap. Cheers, Andrew. Your first yeah. time doing it? First time doing this one, yeah. Yeah, wicked. Yeah, first time for doing a freedom. Yeah, oh, you'll love it. Yeah, yeah. it's really good, so. Yeah, it's always a yeah. good route, good atmosphere.
Okay, so five and a half mile check-in. We're going through what, 50 minutes. Gonna get some calories in. Gonna be using the precision fuel and hydration pouches. Gonna try and get one pouch in every two hours. So that's gonna give me 45 grams of carbs every hour. So that should work out pretty well. And I've got a higher concentrate of electrolyte this time around. Obviously it's, uh, it's not hot, sweaty conditions, but it's actually nowhere near as cold as I thought it was gonna be. So that's the uh, nutrition plan. Going well so far, legs feel good. Never know how they're gonna feel after a long drive out country, but they've loosened up a bit. And uh, yeah, all things are going well. So let's uh, keep trucking on. Proper gloomy in the woods now. The old fog's dropped down, it's raining, and we're going up one of the bigger hills on the route. So being sensible, we're gonna walk these, march them out, save all the energy for the descents and the flat running bit. Here we are, Leaf Tower for the first time. I'd, uh, I'd show you all the lovely views, but uh, there ain't any. Well done, Lloyd. Well done. Well done. How you going, guys? Nice to see you. Good to see you. How you doing? How are you finding it? Yeah, good, man. Huh? Lovely weather. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Just out having a nice stroll here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Taking in the views. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, well done. Are you at the R again? Uh, not this no. year. Crewing. Oh, we'll be at Land's End. Oh, oh wicked. Yeah. We'll see you there. See you there. Always good to see you guys. Cheers. Awesome. That's Tim and his wife. Massive supporters of the channel. Such lovely people. He's a proper OG supporter. A great runner as well. Done some pretty impressive times at the Arc. And he crossed the TDS uh, this year as well. But yeah, such lovely people. Always great when you see followers of the channel. Right, first dip point, all done. Checkpoint number one. I want to be super quick through here. So let's grab some flapjack. Hello, oh, hey, ladies. Okay? Yeah, very good, thank well you. Oh, you're going to the flapjack? Yeah, it's got to be done. It's oh, tradition, Tom, tradition. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's rocket fuel, guys, grab it. <laughs> oh. so, we're... so, bottles topped up. We got six miles to the next checkpoint. I had a handful of crisps. We grabbed uh, one of the magic flapjacks and I got a peanut butter sandwich. So yeah, this is a nice breakfast. But I'll have the sandwich, then we'll get running again. 7.5 miles in. Out of my mind, how could I be so blind? How could I not see? Hello again. Have you liked and subscribed? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Keep bumping into Santa. <laughs> Just getting a good demonstration of uh, Nike's traction in the mud here. Yeah, exactly. Capturing it on camera. <laughs> Black hole. <I> oh, <laughs> well done. Good balance. Good balance. Working them core muscles hard, mate. So even after last year's ouch, Lloyd, you're here back again, huh? Yeah, it was ouch last year. <laughs> it was my own fault, though. <laughs> you can't wing these things, can you? You've no, got to put the work in. No, for sure not. So I've got a few more miles in my legs this time. So. No, yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay, let's give you a quick update. So we are coming up to 15 miles. We just went through the checkpoint before you get sent out on this sort of extra little loop. So we run out on this loop, and we're gonna double back, and then we'll get back on the route that we just run. So like I said earlier, it's an out and back route. Really quick pit stop, filled up the bottles, grabbed a bit of flapjack and a packet of crisps. I was craving a bit of savoury so I'll have them in a minute. But I thought I'd just give you an update on you know how the arc training has been going. So we started the block off four weeks ago. I had a really solid four weeks so first three weeks of it I topped out 50 miles with some really good long challenging runs. I dropped down a bit for the fourth week down to about 38 miles for that week just in preparation for running this and then when we get to the finish line today it's gonna be a 50 plus week so you know that's a good five weeks of training in the legs and I am definitely feeling the benefit of it 
just feeling so much stronger. You know, consistency is key when you're running these long distance races. So it's giving me a lot of confidence for the Arc next year. I'm just really enjoying the training, managing the body well, looking after myself and touch wood, it's all going to plan so far. Anyway, let's crack on. We'll see you guys at Marathon Distance. We were riding high. Do you remember? No one will deny. We were invincible, heading for the sky before we started falling. Ah, it's Lloyd. How you doing, mate? I'm for adventure. How you doing? Yeah, good, mate. Oh, mate. Feeling good? Uh, not too bad today. Good. Yeah, taking it a bit easy. Yeah, that's good. So uh, just gotta get it done, as yeah, you say. Yeah. Yeah. Have, you, uh, have you run it before? No, no, no. Okay. First, uh, first one. Yeah, we did. The darker the sky, the brighter the stars shining upon wherever we are. No matter near, no matter far. The darker the sky, the brighter the stars. Waiting for the dawn. We have made it up to Leith Hill. Here's a tower for the second time. So it's pretty foggy. The conditions are deteriorating rapidly, but there's a really good run in to the finish from here. So legs are feeling good. It's going to plan. Nutrition has gone well. I've been pacing it nice and easy and sort of trying to pick people off as I go to save some energy in my legs for the downhill and then for that road section to the finish. So we'll see you guys at the finish line. of Hannibal from the A-Team, one of my favorite TV programs in the 80s. You gotta love it when a plan comes together. We have run that last 10K really strong. Felt great, you know, picking off runners as I went. The plan has been executed to perfection. You know, I wanted to start steady and then push hard towards the end. And that's exactly what we've done. The nutrition, the electrolyte has gone really well. No loss of energy, no cramping. So I think that preloading really helped for the race. And we have just ticked past 30 miles to the finish line around the corner. Oh, great feeling to know that training is going well. And we've had a strong run at the Hurtwood 50K after 10 miles yesterday and a six hour drive up here. Things are definitely moving in the right direction. All right, let's go and see Liga and get to that finish line. We can see the finish from here. The support out on the route has been amazing. So much love for the channel. It's given me so much energy. It's been wicked. So I've got to say a massive thanks to that guy. And we are here, 50K in the bag. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that was an extremely successful day out on the trails and it's so positive that everything's headed in the right direction. But that is Hurtwood 50K done.
Morning folks, you join me the morning after Hurtwood 50k. We actually haven't had a crazy trip back down to Cornwall yet like we did last year. We've come up to my dad, so we've uh, spent the night at my dad's. We're gonna go and have a nice dinner this evening, so that's very nice and relaxed. But what a great day we had at Hurtwood. The race went exactly to plan. I couldn't have asked for a better result, and it really is giving me a lot of confidence heading towards the arc next year. I've also got to say a big thanks to all the marshals, all the crew out there. It was a cold day standing still. They must have got pretty freezing and they were always super positive, really encouraging. And to you guys, the viewers of the channel, so much positivity and amazing love for the channel as I made my way around the route. And it really did lift my spirits. So there was a couple of times, you know, my legs started to feel a bit sore and a bit tight. It really did help. So thanks a lot, guys. I've also got to say a massive thanks to the sponsors of our Arc of Attrition series. So Phoenix Head Torches, if you're looking for a top quality running head torch, definitely go and check them out. And also Precision Fuel and Hydration because my hydration went brilliantly in the race. I think that preloading really helped and the nutrition was spot on. My energy levels were great throughout the race. So big thanks to the two sponsors. I'll leave links for both brands in the description below. Definitely worth going and check it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this second episode in our ARC series. We've got lots more to come on the series, so keep your eyes peeled. If you are running the Arc of Attrition next year, I hope the training is going well. And obviously we're gonna see you on the start line, but I've gotta say a big thanks for watching. We will see you back on the channel very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Thank you very much. Perfect plan executed to perfection.